Okay, guys, welcome back to part two of what I think is going to be a part, a three-part series for this uh, raw video commentary. And uh, we're at a bottleneck on the field, and if you can imagine, uh, down that road, there's a recessed field which is out of play. And okay, now we're since the camera's twisted on us. If you look past this gentleman's gun here, you, can, you can't tell very well, but the, it, it slopes downward. And that was a valley that was part of this contested bottleneck all day. Now, if you're not familiar with the term bottleneck, bottleneck means a, a very tight, confined space where everything is forced through. So we're at, at the tightest point in the field where everybody's fighting it out from this, at this point in the day. We're, at, we're after the lunch break. We're closing in the last 20 minutes of battle. These guys here are trying to push their way up this road and put just that much more pressure on the other team. I'm going to let you listen to them now. How is the cover when you get to that moment? Okay. Which one? Here? Yeah, it's, it's not the greatest because they can get through that angle. But we're we keep pushing them back that way because they're not coming up again. One more. We're trying to protect that flag. Hey, get that law up here! He's, okay, he's shooting from across there at the bunkers. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That guy's out. This side's clear now. Yeah, this side's clear, but there's one behind the Dorito and one behind the other. You heard him mention law. A law in paintball is a law rocket, and a law rocket in paintball is a Nerf uh, rocket, and it's a bunker buster. It's uh, one of the elements that you see in scenario games, uh, along with tanks. It's uh, one of those things you find in scenario games usually and not in a record game. You in it? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Ready? Jarrell, cover far right. I got, the, the, I got, the, I got the bunker. I don't think there's anybody in here. Far right. You're on the other side. There's one in. There's one in. You know, scenarios accommodate all the different types of players that there are, whether you're an aggressive player who likes to brawl and be up front, whether you like to work your way around the edges, uh, whether you like to shoot first strike rounds from a great distance, uh, or just let your front lines push their way through and then support them. You know, if, if you're a player that's never played paintball before, you can obviously, as you can see in this particular video, uh, play alongside advanced players. It's, it's not something that's, you know, extremely difficult to participate in. Um, it's a very welcoming uh, type of uh, paintball, whereas if you're playing on a speedball team, you'd better practice and you better understand technique to a certain degree before you can participate at a, at a, at a relevancy level. Uh, whereas anybody who's played paintball at any level can participate in scenario. Uh, and when I say any level, I mean that means the speedballer, that means the, the mill sim, it means the tactical, it, it does mean everyone. You just need to kind of fit in and where you think you can fit in, and, and there's always a role. Now, these guys are finally pushing down this road line, and they're going to sweep right, and what we're doing is, this this new camera perspective is actually from that forward position. Uh, we're now pushing the other team back to their spawn point. And they did this to the, uh, to the polar bears at the onset of the day. The first half of the day, the, 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 the uh, field sides were flipped. I happen to believe that the far side of the field, the field that we're attacking, the side of the field we're attacking from, the polar bear we're attacking the penguins from, had the advantage. It was the more advantage, more advantageous side. So to the producers or the field owners' credit, they flip sides after the lunch break, allowing both teams to enjoy that advantage if there was in fact one. Now you can see that referee there. If you look, you can't really see through this this shot, but there is a fortress off in the distance beyond that referee where the other team is inserting. We have not flanked them, but we have, for lack of better terms, surrounded them uh, on, I'd say, oh, as much as three quarters, um, much more than half. And they're having to insert into the game through the side and the back side of their fortress to get into the game as opposed to come directly at us because we're so far up on them. They did this, the Penguins did this uh, the first half of the day when they had this advantage to the Polar Bears. So this, this is kind of history repeating itself. Um, the downside of this is, is that the polar bears were really never able to uh, equal the penguins in the terms of points they gathered throughout the day, and subsequently the penguins won the day. Uh, you know, hats off to them. So, in any event, uh, right now this very confined shot is not giving you a good field perspective, but I'm trying to share with you enough about the game to lead you to the next point, because in this next part of part three, you're going to see me play a little bit, and you'll see me kind of get up on them uh, in a, in a low-lying bunker. Nothing I was excited about, but you need to see it. Uh, so while we're at this, guys, I'm sure you see my sponsors at the top of the screen. You'll see a little 
flip at the end, oh, visit them. their sites, learn Where about them, spread well, the word. Um, paintball is a you know an industry on the regrowth, God, and it's just us, off. we, the players, who are going to help the sponsor these these vendors grow. There's a lot of small businesses out there that need our help. Do your part, would you? It's too much for any man.